Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. I found some fun stuff and some gift ideas and I'm a little off kilter here today. Oh, hi Alex. Oh, hi, what do you need, huh? What do you need? He said, you're talking. Does that mean you're giving me something? No. All right, let's go. I don't have a ton, but enough. Okay, so to start off, no particular order. I found, I think I have two of these. Um, it is rose gold garland. Sarah is doing a tree in her bedroom in pink. Sarah's my niece. And she asked me if I could find any pink stuff to grab it. So duh, of course I did. Okay. In here, I'm putting together a little gift basket for a teenage girl. So I grabbed some of these. I am obsessed with these. I use them every day, all different brands, but I love them. These are the face washers, uh, makeup vanishing towels. These are great. So I grabbed one of those for her. And then here's some shimmer, oops, sorry, wrong side, shimmer serum. It's just a face serum, but it has a little bit of gold in it, which... I think is a lot of fun. I didn't know if it was leaking, but it's not. And then they had blemish patches in the uh, gold stars to go with this. And then I'm gonna go to like Sephora or something and get like face masks, things like that. And I have around here a makeup bag. She's, I believe coming to my house on Christmas maybe, potential. If not, I'll send it to her. Um, and then I'm putting together like a food and drink basket. Oh wait, first I found this. How fun are these? Just like a rainbow. I'm gonna take them to work and put them on my wall in my cubicle um, for after the holidays. And I thought this was so fun to hang. Just fun. I like fun. Let me put Sarah's stuff together in a minute. So they brought out the gift basket food stuff again. And this time they had some different and I feel like last year they had it, but it came out after the holidays at my store. But this is Sweet Hot Mustard. I thought that would be fun to go in a little gift basket. Here is the gift basket that I purchased. This is not anything new to the Dollar Tree, but I like them and it's a good size. And it's I'm giving it to a guy, so... I grabbed him those and I have some other stuff you'll see here in a minute that I will be dropping down next to me for him. Also, I got him some fancy coffee and a coffee mug. So there's a lot of things. But I also found Harry and David coffee. And this is just breakfast blend coffee. Now, Harry and David, they're, I don't know if they're only here, but there is. So these are out of New York, but there is a distribution center here um, in the next town over from me or a couple towns over. So not surprised that we get Harry and David stuff, but coffee. So these are for, not this is not the fancy coffee, but it's fancy enough for a gift basket. And then I found, and these will get sorted out between a couple different people, but they had the Sweet Chaos, this is iced gingerbread. I really wish I could try these, but I can't. And then they have black and white sugar cookie and another iced gingerbread. And I know I have other flavors. Sarah loves these, so she will definitely get some of these. And um, in the gift basket down here. And then also I got some pitted olives. Like how fun are these just for gift baskets? And these are great. Like I buy these for travel because they're shelf stable. So if you're somebody that likes A, olives, B, you travel and you need snacks on the go. And these are good. And this package specifically is, oh, August 16th of next year. So, I mean, you've got a good shelf life on those for sure. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to take Sarah's garland and put it in a separate bag for her. So she'll be coming for that. I also have coffee today. Guys, I have been a chaotic mess. I'm getting ready. Ooh, I'm recording today. 
but I'm getting ready for tomorrow's stay. Tomorrow starts Vlogmas, and today I go to the dermatologist. I have another pre-cancer spot to burn, so I'll be starting off Vlogmas looking great, I'm sure, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, here's the other food stuff that I found. Um, peppermint Crunch was the other flavor that I found. So, peppermint, gingerbread, and iced sugar cookie. I know those three are definitely for Sarah and then this is for the other gift basket that I'm doing and this is another uh, peppermint crunch so that will go in this gift basket then I found from Harry and David again these little sweet and spicy nut mixes so this is a uh, sweet and spicy snack mix honey roasted peanuts Cajun sesame sticks butter toffee peanuts corn nuts honey sesame sticks, and zesty peanuts. I mean, these are just fun, and they're great. This is honey sesame sticks, Harry and David. Um, and this is like party mix, which is corn sticks, sesame sticks, peanuts, and pretzel squares, and then some moose tracks. I mean, I've been gifted all of these things. I've gotten Harry and David baskets before. We need a thumbnail. And these are great. And they all have a really good shelf life. October of next year on that one. September of next year. So these are not like expiring soon. These are a fantastic deal. And this is all going into one gift basket. So I think that's fantastic. And then they had the Cars brand, which is again another name brand, Snack Mix. And if this is the holiday cheer, so there is um, red and green M&Ms. In this one, also for the same basket, I grabbed some Andes. And these are the Cherry's Jubilee little candies, so I will put those in there. And then the last two things I'm going to put in there is a Lindor truffle um, caramel and a Godiva chocolate. So that's going to be one gift. All this different food items, I got a travel coffee cup and then some fancy coffee. We'll go into that gift. Now, if you remember my last video, I found this navy blue like stuff. They had this, which first of all, it's in a coffee cup. I mean, I had to buy it, but it comes with a loofah, another little nail file, Clippers and nail cleaners. I just think these are great. I love this for crafting. And honestly, this is fantastic for um, my wood burning. This is good because I can just stick it in my hand like this and get the wood burning cleaned up. So these are, this is for me. I just wanted to show you, but I have the whole set now of this navy blue. And I love that they use the hanger from the loofah, which I will use in my shower through the hole in the drink cup. I just think this is great. This will probably end up being like a painting cup for water for me, you know. Um, I know these came out in some stores last year, but we never received them. So I did find them this year. And these are going to my office. I have a little tiny Christmas tree and I'm gonna put these ornaments up. So you get the little stockings and then they have the Buffalo check Christmas trees. And these are in the Christmas plaid. So I thought these were cute. It's a tiny little tree. And I'm going into the office tomorrow. So I thought, well, I'll bring those with me and hang them on the tiny little tree on my desk. And we, oh, I don't know what's happening today. Um, yeah, so it's perfect for that. And I have some lights and stuff. Now I have purchased these specific things before and I want to show you, I love them for crafting. Um, and not just crafting, but like, we if you have a cricket, like weeding or getting little things, these are freaking, ooh, these are pokey. And I like to use them if I have to get into something, get a label off so I don't break my nails. Um, and sometimes they get covered in hot glue and whatever, and I don't care because they're two for one dollar. So I use them 
mostly as like a picking tool. So I don't use my Cricut weeding tools for gross things like glue and stuff like that. So I like these to have for that very purpose when I'm crafting. Now, we have a couple more bags. I picked these up for Sarah. Um, these have the pink bulbs and the gold. And then these have the pink and the white glitter. So I don't know what she'll want. Um, she couldn't find them at her store, but I told her I would grab some and then she can take what she would like out of here and use it. Also, the lady was super nice and helped me find a second garland. So I was able to find her two garlands. So hopefully it's a small tree that's going in her room or smaller. So hopefully that will be enough. And if not, she can use it for something else. She likes pink. So this is all for Sarah when she comes to see me. Now, what do we got in here? Oh, I think, like I said, I didn't get a whole ton of stuff. It just wasn't a whole lot that I needed and or wanted. I did, however, need a bigger box for um, packaging. And I think you've seen one before, but this is, I'm like, are your stores getting wiped out of Christmas? I... I was at Target last night looking for some Christmas candies to get ready to mail a box. It's no, it's not December yet, guys. It's not December yet. And my Target, the shelves are bare. I went to my Hobby Lobby, wiped out. Dollar Tree, this was the only gift box I could find of this size. And I, they used to have tons. So either they're not out yet or they're gone. And I'm not sure what's happening. All right, and then this is the last bag. And oh, one more thing. I grabbed some of this that can go into that gift basket as well. Just some cotton candy. And let me tell you, this is a nice sturdy amount of cotton candy. It's two ounces. Like that's a lot for a dollar, especially in this economy. Please, we gotta take it where we can get it, guys. Okay. Um, I grabbed an ornament for a gift tag, probably to go on this gift basket that I'm making because I like it. And you can just write their name on the back or put a sticker and then they have an ornament. I like to do that. And especially if I'm doing like um, a gift basket like I'm doing with all that food and stuff, that's perfect. Um, I'm gonna let you on a little secret. I grabbed one of these. A clean fresh one just a brush I mean we've all seen them there I need to get a new well I don't need a new handle the one that I have is dirty from outside because I use it on my sweeping on my front porch and sidewalk irrelevant I bought this I'm gonna get a new pole my store was out and I use these to clean my shower so I had shoulder surgery over here. I probably need it over here. So my shoulders, you know, get a little sore and I have tile. So what I've been doing um, with a different broom, but I think this will work better, is I've been spraying the cleaner on my shower walls and then I take a broom and scrub it. And then I can get all those corners and stuff and it doesn't hurt my shoulders. Is this a hack? I don't know. Does it work? Yes. And it gets my shower nice and clean. And I'm definitely get a good scrub this isn't going to scratch any of your surfaces i mean it definitely won't scratch if you have like the like the plastic i'm not sure the name of it my tile and my stub tub of steel so it's not scratching anything but this is not overly hard that you're going to scratch surfaces but i would test it just to be sure but anyway yeah so i'm able to reach all the way to the top and get all the corners and just kind of do it from the dryness <laughs> standing outside the shower so I need to get a broom handle for this and this becomes in my cleaning arsenal right right and then I have two things left to show you number one I think this is so cute I'm gonna give it to Sarah it is chrome nail powder so what you do is these are not gel but let's pretend my nails are gel you paint your gel on you paint your clear color and then you rub this powder over your nails and you shake off all the excess and then you put clear over it and you get a chrome shiny fingernail what? 
Oh, I'm going to try it with her. We're going to try this. I've got the gel set up. I can do this. I'm just not doing it on my nails because um, I pay for these nails currently. I, would, I don't always pay to have my nails done typically, but I figured um, when I went to London in October, I started getting these dip. So it's my own fingernail. It's just a dip over it and I really enjoy it. And what they do is they remove this whole dip all the way down to my fingernail. So it's not, it hasn't seemed to cause any damage to my nail, but they're very strong, which is what I need because I'm constantly doing, you know? Anyway, this looked fun. We'll see how it turns out because that's how we roll. Uh, my store brought these, I'm looking for all the colors, brought these pens back out. That's mine, mine, and mine. Okay, so I got for Sarah these zebra brands so these are name brand and these are metallic gel pens and let me tell you how fun these are on black paper if you have any black notebook paper and i also love the silver and gold to write out christmas cards this is just fantastic so these are for sarah to go with her i got her like oh i have another thing here a little stationary kit and then i bought myself a refresh of them with an extra pack of silver and gold to do my um, christmas cards but these are great. I love them. I use them pretty regularly. Um, and they have other, and I you'll see if you see my wrapping video, <laughs> this is gonna hold all of her stationary stuff I got. Um, they have other um, Zebra brand pens. This is not Zebra, but I've been using this and it's really writes well, so I got it for her for her journal. And this is a 0.7 uh, Magna Tank Smooth Gel Ink, and it writes well. I love it. I don't love all the ink brand um, pens. Just some are hit, some are misses for me, and some I haven't tried. But this is definitely a hit, and I love it, and I thought she would love it too. So I grabbed that for her. I already have one, so it's actually sitting right here. I use it pretty regularly and I like a fatter pen so if you enjoy like a fatter grip because you know I'm getting older and it's easier to grip and it has the rubber here but these write great my other favorite pens are the friction erasables um and the last thing I got were these document holders I think these are fantastic here's the thing if you're traveling and you know I just got back from a trip I'm peeling labels because that's what I do um, I just got back from a trip and everything is on your phone, except for when your phone runs out of battery and then you're kind of in trouble. Plus, if you lose your phone, you lose your passport, you lose something, you know, Oops. there we go. I love it when they come off. I'm just going to say that. It's very satisfying. Here's my, here's my recommendation when traveling. I keep a copy in my luggage of my passport. I leave a copy at home. I take a copy with me. I, I was looking at my computer. I keep a package of my travel documents in here. If I have tickets to anything that are on my phone, I keep a copy. So I just keep a hard copy with me because you just never know. And I usually will throw this in my backpack and put one in my luggage. I did get two. I don't think any high hopes that these would last more than one or two trips. So I grabbed two. So you have your inner compartment here and it just slides like a zip bag. And then you have a little pocket out here that you can store. You can even store your money in here, whatever. I mean, if you're, if you, let's say you pre um, get your ex money exchanged if you're traveling abroad and you need to get cash like euros or the pound or something, you can keep it in here. But all your documents, these are great also for any document that you need to keep track of these are great and for a dollar 25 the quality seems okay i was buying them at staples for like five dollars and i don't think those are better i mean you just got to kind of be gentle with this little zipper thing but i like it and i like that there's multiple compartments and that i can see through it um i like that a lot as well so that is everything i purchased like i said i got myself a set of pens as well um, because I really enjoy writing with those. Because I'm a pen person. Oh, I need my receipt. I need to scan it. If you haven't checked, I have an Instagram. Um, it's my crazy life underscore Lori. 
I have a Facebook group. We've been over there voting. I'm starting tomorrow. We're going to do Jolly Miss. And that is going to be uh, 25 days counting after Christmas. I'll put a video out every single day. And yeah, that is everything. Um, anything I talk about that I get on Amazon, there is an affiliate link down below. And you can go there and check out my storefront. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you have a great day and I will talk with you later. Bye.